Hi everyone, welcome to Outdoor Bound TV. I'm Kurt Walbeck. Well, we're on a public land elk hunt, and as you can tell, we've got a little bit of work in front of us to get this guy packed out. But in the meantime, we're gonna send you to Manitoba, Canada. First, we're gonna go looking for some rainbow trout with pro Brian Bogdan. And then we head out with the girls, they're popping up the otter to go after some walleye on Wakusko Lake. One thing about rainbows, you got to remember how fast these fish are, and if they, if you feels loose, you just reel as fast as you can to try to catch up. Oh, like that. So we're on Corman's Lake up here in northern Manitoba, and uh, this fall I came in here and we hit some giant rainbows, 28 inch, 30, even caught a 30 inch rainbow. And there's big brookies, I actually got a 20 inch brookie in here as well. And we're getting the year classes where we have a lot of those really big fish. There's my top hook, so he's definitely the minnow on the bottom. And we've got, you know, the fingerling size all the way to 30 inch fish. So it's a uh, first ice, we've got four to five inches of ice here. We ripped a whole bunch of holes with the light flight. And you know, it's, we've been here for a while and we haven't had a lot, much activity. Oh, it's a beautiful boat. And dead sticks. I can't say enough when you're fishing for rainbows or any trout, dead sticks sometimes will outperform your jigging rod. And I, my personal opinion is that you're away from, act, from the hole, you have no sound activity, and they're more likely to feed there. This is a big boat, probably a 24 inch rainbow take my glove off. Now rainbows, all trout species are very, very delicate. So I'm planning to release this fish. And so I want to make sure I'm not going to take any of that slime off on it. So I'll sacrifice my hand for the greater good here. Now with barbless in Manitoba, you really want to make sure that you take your time once you get them to the hole as well as we're running, I'm running anyhow, smaller leads. I got six pound fluoro on here. And if you just try to push it with these rainbows, they will break off on you. See, it's caught in the corner of the mouth. That single hook. Okay, this is the chance. There we go. Look at that football. Look at that football. What a gorgeous fish. Barbless pops out super fast. One last look at a gorgeous, gorgeous rainbow in northern Manitoba. Now it is allowed to keep a fish like this. You're allowed one over 18 inches and one under 18 inches, but these beautiful big rainbows, they just earn my respect. They have such a good fight. Just take your time, think about the fish. If they're breathing and everything, they'll, they'll do good enough to take off. Just gotta give them their time and be patient. Don't force it and it'll be a healthy release. Oh, there she goes. Yeah, that was fun. And that is why you always set up a dead stick when you're fishing for trout. So what I've done here is I've got my dead stick rod that I like to use for rainbows. So I've got braid, I just, I'm just a big braid fanatic, tired to a VMC barrel swivel. And then I ran about two feet of six pound fluoro suffix. And then I've put on a VMC split shot hook. And then I've gone a long stretch, close to four feet, six foot or six pound fluoro and I've just gone to a VMC number six hook. Simple and effective. Now what I'm doing by do, 
by having the two hooks on there is that I'm covering both areas of the column. I'm, I'm fishing the minnow near the bottom and I'm putting another crawler or a minnow up high half ways in the column. The rainbows and brook trout, rainbows especially, they can be cruising anywhere in that column at any part of the year, at any time of the day. So I'm just trying to make sure I'm putting as many cards into my favor. And if you don't use light enough fluoro, a lot of times they just become line shy and they won't hit. So it's uh, it's always that guesswork of how, how much you can get away with. And a lot of the times it has to depend on the mood of the fish. You know, we're not seeing a lot of fish cruising. We're not getting a lot of hits. So I'm going to guess it's going to be a little bit of slower bite. And when it's a slower bite, you always want to downsize and clean things up on your main line. And so now that I'm at my depth where I want it to be, I've got uh, the dangler rod holder packed down on it with some snow and slush and just clipping it on. Now I like to run my drag loose off the get-go. Rainbows are so fast, so as soon as you see your rod going, you gotta get there as quick as possible. And what I love about the dangler rod holder is the fact that you can just grab and go. You don't have to worry about trying to get it out of a holder or anything. It's just rip it out and set the hook and start fighting that fish. So. Those are my tips, how I like to set up my dead sticks for rainbows and brookies. And we'll just see if this setup doesn't catch a few more. Yeah, I was just sitting here bouncing off this number four ultralight rip and wrap and all of a sudden a mark came up and just crushed it and pretty good fight here. Oh, he's already coming up here. It's nice is with these barbless hooks, it comes right out. Great for the fish. Hold him there a little bit. Make sure he's ready to go. Oh man, is that fun. If you haven't tried this, you need to experience this up here with Brian. It's unreal. Not just the fishing to all the scenery out here. It's just something you need to experience once or more than once in your lifetime. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Otter and PK Lures. Hey everybody, it's Anna and Nicole here, and we are back up at our favorite place in northern Manitoba, Wakusco Falls Lodge. It is early ice here, and right now we are sitting on just probably six or eight inches of ice, yep. and we are using our underwater camera today. So get ready because you're going to get to see a lot of cool live action shots today. These bubblers are something else. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. I'm hot. How's it feel? Wow, that's it. Yeah. After you just said that. Can you help? He slow he's hammered that. I didn't see one like that. Oh, great. Oh, no. Wow, just like that, we hooked up. Nice job. <laughs> Beautiful Manitoba walleye. That's perfect. Beautiful. One nice. of the nice work. Thank you. One of the nice things about having them in the house is that um, their eyes and stuff don't freeze up. So you got a little, it's a little more forgiving on the fish. my tail right off. So drop down and we have a narrow cone angle so I wasn't really marking anything and this thing just I didn't even see him he came through and just smoked just smoked my lure wasn't even expecting it so another nice eater Oh, 
There we go. I same fish. We're gonna take a doubles photo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep that one. Oh, here he is. Oh, he's still stuck in my deucer. I made a separate hole for that, and you still did it. Oh, you little stink. Oh, no, no. There we go. Oh, it's like the exact same size. Way to go, girl. I'm just gonna keep keep mine up. Breathing. I'll patiently wait for you to stop with your tantrum. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. You got that. Another one. Okay, yours is definitely bigger. No, I think they're both the same. I think. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I think these ones might go into the frying pan. Yeah, I think these are good eaters. Yeah, for sure. Need a couple more. I've been really digging on any spoon. I think we're both using different kinds of spoons yep. that kind of have these little added blades. I have the PK Fire Tiger spoon on. And I've got a gold VMC Tangler with the little bra uh, blade on the end. Yeah, technically mine's the Predator spoon with the uh, blade but I they really like that added flash I think is what we're figuring out we've we've marked a few fish that are not quite as aggressive biting but um, then we just get these ones that are kind of cruising on through that um, seem like they like a little added flash and they're hitting the baits hard Thank you. <gasps> there's one it's a Whoa. white fish it's a white fish that is so cool um oh my god there's a fish that just Whoa, the you white, see that fish the whitey, that up? The whitey. I wasn't even down when that happened. That was fun. Looking mark, it looks like it looked like a burbot coming up the. It smoked my line. Did it? Yeah, give me a hand. Yeah, yeah I got gotcha. you. Stinking! It smoked it so hard. Oh, and look how little! I thought it felt bigger. And it's a I whopper. Just... <laughs> we got a whopper. <laughs> That's funny. Oh. There you go. He's going back in. They just kind of keep sneaking in. Yeah, he's just. Whoa! I was like, what just happened? I didn't see him on there at all. Not at all. This little spoon has been a good little one. They're just wrecking it though. Open your mouth. There you go. Oh, I love barbless just for taking out the livers. Okay, let me open this. Oh wait, don't poop over my drink. Look at that. We're crushing it! See you later, little guy. JK. They know all about that one in North Look at all these white fish. They're everywhere. <laughs> it's insane right now. Yeah! It's a white It's gonna smell bad. Do you need my helper or am I only gonna cause problems? 
tell me when I don't know. Me. I mean, you're. <laughs> Look at this white fish. Look at this white fish. It's huge. <laughs> Let me get a video. Oh, oh my, my gosh. Mom. When we're um, done. Good job. It's gonna smell bad in here. Okay, dude. Oh, no. Bye. Perfect. <laughs> That's actually an ideal. That was ideal. <laughs> Oh, there's a walleye right there. Darn it, and I'm not down. You must, you sound like you a- You do this for a living. Like, yeah. I was just gonna say, you oh. sound like you know a thing or two about that. Oh. Feel good? All right, we got this one. Never catch them all. I'm trying to get tension on oh. it. That's what's getting me in trouble. I can touch the line. Okay. It's a big no-no. Come right down here with your rod tip. If he starts running to the side. Oh, there. Help me, oh. please get it on. It's a nicer one. There. That oh, is no. a dandy. What? Oh, my oh, my face is. Heck yeah! <laughs> Boom! Okay, Kurt, go look. <laughs> yeah, yeah! <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's fine. She's like, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, there you go. There you go. That's a walleye. Feels nicer. Somebody give me a hand so I don't lose this one. He's running, he's running, he's running. Because it's a big white fish. That's fine too. Please, no! What happened? What happened? I just had slack. Is that what happened? I don't know. I wonder if you need to switch to bigger hook size. Like I'm kind of starting to wonder if it's that this isn't. Is enough. it because the one is bent back? Teeny tiny hooks. If, you, if they get them, right? If they swipe at it and you don't get them in the that right spot. That felt nice. Yeah. Ooh, salt in the wound. But I can use your five. Salt in the wound. Oh, there's salt. Oh, there you go. Get him. That's so cool. Oh, oh. He's, going. he's going up. You got him. You got him. I gotta stop watching that camera. <laughs> you did a good job. <laughs> Cause Cause the delay is. What is going on with this? sweatshirt too, you little bugger. Here we go. We actually put one topside and lucky for me, he hooked my sweatshirt. You want to help me out there, pal? <laughs> you bet. There we go. Thank you. Finally on the jig and wrap, we got a little bit of luck. The last one I had come in, I was watching him on the camera and he cruised right off the frame and this guy just hooked my sweatshirt again because I'm holding it and that's my own fault. <laughs> Don't this worry. is a disaster. <laughs> nope. Luckily, it's barbless, so it should pop right out. There we go. Nice. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> We're dying. Let's back her up. That's going to be another one. That's going to be another. Uh, you still got a jig and wrap oh, in your sleeve. Still... Oh, boy. Oh, I'm still. I don't know what's happening. I'm still hooked. I have a jigging wrap in my sleeve, and I'm still going to help you. <laughs> I'm not going to lose this one at the ice. You lose your cord. Just... Ooh, ooh, yes. Ooh. There you go. You All should right. get your... Oh, look! <laughs> What's wrong with us? <laughs> we're, we're you can to... tell a whole season has passed since we've been on the ice. We've um, had them hooked everywhere today. Yeah. Look at our clothes. Nice one. Thank you. There we go. Pretty consistent size. I don't know if that one's working. Look at that flare. Put him back. We all get another one, a bigger one. We might not be uh, very good at catching them, but uh, <laughs> they're giving us a lot of chances <laughs> at the very least. <laughs> we, have a, 
Good thing we have a fast restaurant to today. Own. I'll help you. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Markham Technologies and Venom Outdoors. Hey, if you're interested in heading to Wakusco Falls Lodge in Snow Lake, Manitoba, all their information is right here on the screen. Give them a call. I'll guarantee you'll have a great time. And we hope that you'll join us again here next week when we'll bring you more great hunting and fishing action from around the U.S., around Canada, and around the world, right here on Outdoor Bound TV. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Ice Force by Rapala and Strike Master. Yeah, start here, start over. Apparently I'm not a good bait salesman. We're good at this. <laughs> Bourbon dev here. I kind of zoned out after a while. <laughs> Better, better, let's get at her. You jig like a baby. You know? Yeah, it's awful. Okay, good. good. I've been trying everything under the sun. Which I'm sure you have. Been Never it. again. There's a more. Hmm? I can't off. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Cold Nation Outdoors and Mountain Dew.